Scott Floyd is an electrical outlet. And the tools that he gives you are a fork and a knife. The only way you can understand Scott Floyd is if you stuck a fork in an outlet. Scott Floyd is, he is a ton of fun. Probably the best combination of friend and leader that I've seen and that I've had. I remember when I met Scott Floyd, I didn't know what to think about him. And uh, he was a little bit like, he was kind of out there, man. He loved lights, he loved crazy performance, he loved all that stuff. And I was like, what is this guy about? Because that's kind of all I saw. And then when I got to know him and know his heart, man, I don't know too many people that really put their money where their mouth is, just as far as loving people, man. I don't know, man, I love that and I respect that so much. When he first interviewed with us, I remember going back and thinking, every single one of the people interviewing are worship leaders, but Scott is a worship pastor. Scott Floyd is a crazy, lovable, awesome guy, man. A funny, energetic, but just a man that has a huge heart. I would say just kind of a rock. I'll be serious. I think Scott Floyd is an awesome guy. Scott has uh, put me in the position to work on projects that are something I probably wouldn't normally be doing, and I really enjoy that. Uh, what I get a chance to do now is because Scott believed in me, and I'm truly thankful for him. One word. One. <laughs> That's such a great question. Loving. Friend. Intentional. He's a door opener. Bull. Crazy. <laughs> I love creativity. I love lights. I love telling a story, taking people on a journey. It's exciting to me to make sure that we keep church extremely creative. God created us in his image and his likeness, and God was a creator. And if you think about it, look at the earth, look at the details of the earth. So you walk outside after it rains, the sun hits, and you see a rainbow. You see all the colors. That alone tells you, I mean, that is light. That is, that is God's light show. That's beautiful. You look at lightning and you see that. That's God's light show. Light causes the darkness to go away. So for me, I think when I'm thinking of worship and I'm thinking of the creative elements of worship, lights play a huge role just as much as the content, the song selection, all of those components work together for me when I'm creating and putting together a worship set or a concert. I believe that the church should be the absolute most creative place on the planet. Hey, Davin, so what happened today at school? Tell us. That was excellent. What? It was what? It was excellent. What was so excellent about it? I don't know, it was just a good day. Yeah? It was a good day, yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Kisses. I never thought in a million years that being a dad is what it is, but I always dreamed and hoped that it would be at least close to what I'm experiencing now. I, being a husband, it'll be 16 years this month. I'm at a place now that I hear the word enjoy. Enjoy life because it's, it's temporary. I mean, we're not gonna be here forever. And the things we are so concerned about Am I gonna be a good dad? Am I gonna get married? Am I gonna have a house? Am I gonna have a, I mean, all the little things you think of, the answer is, yeah, probably all of those, about 90% of that's going to happen. But if you constantly chase something, then when you get the thing you're chasing, you're not happy because you're always chasing something. So the word enjoyment is really is where I'm at right now. Loving life. <laughs>
Almost showtime. This never gets old. Ever. Ever. It wasn't until I was 30 that I even understood grace. Like, I was under some real religious thought processes and, you know, some I put on myself, others that I just listened through the pastor's teaching. And when I finally understood that grace wasn't a message separate of Christ, grace is Christ. And I understood that in my life, if I truly believed in Christ, then inside of my life, there's nothing missing or broken. Be who God tells me that I can be more than a conqueror. And that's scripture. That's the Bible. The Bible says that I am more than a conqueror through Christ. Now that I know who he is and I understand grace, it's there's freedom because I, I don't feel like that relationship is a sacrifice. I feel like it's an incredible relationship that's an honor to be a part of and to be called to. I didn't deserve it, but I get to enjoy it on this side of heaven. Scott Floyd is a force of nature. Can I just go through a couple of these? Yeah. Okay. Scott Floyd is a hurricane. Scott Floyd is... Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is going to be a good one. You can look up at a star, and that star might not even exist anymore, but you are still seeing the light emitted from that star. And... That reminds me a lot of Scott Floyd. He shines so bright. But sometimes, I don't know, is am I seeing just the image of the man who once was? Or is this man still here? I'm ready when you are. I feel like that's actually a pretty good take. That's a good take. Can't stop me now.